my name is Joya Dame and I'm your hostess. Today on the Row One Personality Show, we're going to be interviewing a very important man. He was originally from Ghana, but then he's based in Ukraine right now. Not only is he a doctor, but he's also a reverend minister. He's a multi-gifted personality. Some know him to be an educator, some know him to be a teacher, some know him to be an entrepreneur, some also know him to be an author. He's actually written a lot of books and I would advise you to actually read them because they're very, very educative. And so welcome, Dr. Sydney Innocent Alode. I hope you're enjoying your day so far. Great. <laughs> okay. So yeah. um, we know you. But then, for the sake of our viewers, I would love that you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as you already heard, by the way, I'm glad to be with you on this platform. Yeah, I'm Dr. Sidney Alode, as has already been said, mm -hmm. and um, I'm in Ukraine. I'm here with my family, uh, minister, and I'm involved in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So... So apart from the business aspect that we know, like maybe is there a personal part of your life that you can tell us about? Well, personal part of my life, yeah. Uh, I'm, I have a family, I'm a father. Okay. Uh, I have three kids. Interesting. And uh, I see myself as a great father. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I love my kids a lot. I'm yeah. sure they love you too. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. and by the way, can you tell us where you met Mrs.? <laughs> I met uh, my wife uh -huh. so many years ago, okay. uh, precisely in 1993. Okay. When I saw her, I just knew that, yes, she's, she's my one. wife. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the most interesting thing is that, uh -huh. guys, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I proposed to her to her twice uh -huh. oh. before she gave me. So <laughs> take note of that if you are ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying, guys. You like my shine. <laughs> All right. So you grew up in Ghana, right? Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about your childhood? Yeah, uh, I grew up in a family where my dad is a very strict man, demanding, mm -hmm. and my mom was an interpreter. Uh, Entrepreneur. My father was a, a director okay. in the Dentist Fish Corporation, and so we stayed some time in Tema. Then, before he was transferred to the Volta Region Hope, mm -hmm. where I continued my school, elementary school, then to secondary school, and from there I moved to this place as a student mm -hmm. to study medicine. Okay. Yeah. All right. So right now, even though you studied medicine, I know that's not the only thing you're doing. So what basically influenced your path in life? Like, helped what? you to choose what path you're gonna take? Uh, I think this is God because as a young Christian, mm -hmm. I had an experience which that would not allow me to relate to a year. But then I just knew that. Um, I have to be there for people to or to help people. And mm -hmm. moreover, I'm always told that my great granddad mm -hmm. uh, has always been helping people, and that's what our surname is even about. So my desire to become a doctor, but later switch to other area is always from that point of view mm -hmm. to be or uh, to be there or to help people. So today on the very platform that I am, where I teach. Uh, I do the same thing. Okay. Just trying to help people to make their life better. Okay. Okay. So I know you to be a very strong man, like to the point that most people depend on you most of the time. Do you practice, do you actually probably have like any weaknesses? Well, I would say, and I uh, I say this almost very often that yeah. no man is perfect. Mm -hmm. We all have our imperfection. Mm -hmm. But by nature, I'm a very kind of positive person, okay. very optimistic about life. So I concentrate more on the on my strength, mm -hmm. and by that I believe it helps me to kind of minimize the weaknesses then going forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So like, how do you feel sometimes when people criticize the imperfect part of you? Like, how do you deal with it? Uh, you know, when you are moving forward, yeah. you're always going to leave footsteps behind. Mm -hmm. And the one who is behind will always see your footsteps. Okay, your footsteps can be going forward or maybe not right. That's where we come across in code the critics. But then the critics are also there for something. Mm -hmm. uh, I really don't kind of pay so much attention to it, though I've been criticized a lot and I'm still being criticized. Mm -hmm. But uh, I listen sometimes take what I can take from it yeah. then I move on okay. with my life yeah all right so we would like to get like a little information from me how did you discover purpose uh, this is something again as I've already mentioned mm -hmm. uh, purpose is something very deep in everyone okay. uh, I believe that we are all born for a reason an intent and, uh, and it speaks to us uh, from the inside. So I will say we should always listen to what is inside, mm -hmm. but not what we are told, maybe in the classroom or even around, but more, uh, much more listen to what is inside. I listen to what is inside of me, mm -hmm. and that's how I discovered purpose and doing what I'm doing today. I know when we read your books, we usually find the answers to everything. But then, can you kind of give us an poll, like a small gist about uh, the top five rules to success? Well, I always say that success is relative. Uh, everybody has his own understanding of that. But then, let me ask something over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't believe only in success. Yeah. I believe in what I call significant living. So the question, how do we get to that? And I believe these five things will help you. First, knowing why you are here, mm -hmm. that's your purpose. Secondly, knowing what you can do, that's your potential. Mm -hmm. Then thirdly, mastering what you can do, then that, that makes you powerful. Mm -hmm. Then fourth, that is a lot of work. Working, I love to work. And to me, working is like uh, resting. Then the last, but not the least, which I believe should even be the first, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I'm putting it as the fifth one, that is relationship. That's how you connect with other people. Mm -hmm. Because there's no man on earth that can do anything alone. So you're always going to need people to do things and be successful. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's kind of hard sometimes to know the path to take. Mm -hmm. And um, I know there are a lot of like young people right now trying to figure out like exactly what they want to do in future and stuff and they're being influenced by parents decisions and stuff but do you have any advice for the youth right now that are growing up like how to be able to find their path like you did that's very wonderful uh, i do a lot of uh, sessions and teachings on those type of issues mm -hmm. Uh, but what I will say over here first is that learn to hear yourself. That is not to hear what others are saying. Mm -hmm. uh, because what you ever become is al already deposited in you. Yeah. And uh, But then we should also be careful that we are in a culture or in a society where we have different voices that are trying to influence our lives so but there's only one voice that we should allow to influence us that is our own voice and uh, I, another thing that i've discovered uh, i have discovered is education is influencing us and sometimes even kind of uh, putting off the real voice that speak to us and at the long run we end up with a certificate and we don't achieve what we really want to achieve in life so, uh, in all these noises, try to come back to that voice that is in you. It will always speak to you. Uh, okay, some may say, it's the voice of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's through the voice of God because God created us all yeah. and God put in us that voice. So, mm -hmm. listen to that voice, which some may call intuition as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So listen to that voice and that will direct your path. Okay. So we've heard some news about your upcoming program. We've seen a lot of flyers. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about the program? Oh, wow. Great. Uh, I've al always believed till now that mm -hmm. I am kind of assigned to Ukrainians. Yeah. But uh, some two or three years ago, uh, I started to have this experience and again following the voice, as I said, mm -hmm. inside uh, that I need to reach out to my people that's Africans. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but again, on the Christian platform, that's why uh, the vision of uh, Kingdom Advance Group International uh, was birthed and uh, soon we'll begin to meet together and it's not going to be the usual kind of church thing. Yeah. My focus is to help to build people, get them connected so that they now go to transform their society. So it's a kind of a kingdom invasion in all aspects of life. Mm -hmm. Before we end our interview, we'd like you to have like, you know, a few words for our fans that are watching, the Row One fans. <laughs> Row One fans, I'm glad to be with you. That's the first time, but I believe this one the last time we're gonna be around all the time. And uh, but my advice to you is that uh, life is very interesting and it's made up of a lot of things. So using this platform. Make sure that it's not just things that you come to see, watch, or hear and go, but ask yourself, what can I get and what can I use from this platform to help me update my life and to progress in life? So stay with Rowan and always be part of what is happening and remain blessed. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Sydney, for your time today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay, lovely viewers, I hope you enjoyed today's session. And I hope I will see you on our next episode. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. <laughs>